He's a better in sport. Hockey's better in sport to to witness and watch than football. Yeah, if we're gonna change the subject to that, I agree. You well, agree? Football's made for TV, yeah, so I do. it's like maybe these girls enjoy like the, the live action. Bro, if hockey like, was more awesome. enjoyable to watch, and they'd be crushing it no, in viewership. No, 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 no. Hockey is more more fun to watch in person. Football is better to watch. Football is built for Thank TV. You. I can't my fault. stand my going fault. to a hey, live. NFL that's on me. Hey, I went to a couple you NFL can't games. Go to a live NFL game? It's brutal. Hey, they're brutal. Brutal. They're slow. The product on TV is so much better, and that's why it is what it is. Okay, tell me this: There's five million timeouts. I get it. All the TV dough. There's very rarely in the NFL like good games. <laughs> They're all blowouts. It feels like so. At least on TV, you're just clicking around. You're watching other games. When you're at a game that there's five million timeouts and it's a blowout, it's, it's like this is not good. It's brutal. In it's, my opinion, it's not a terrible take. It really isn't. Yeah, but, but on TV, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. Exactly. Exactly. And that's but, all that matters. That's all. That's all that matters. Well, that's why it makes so much money. Hockey does not transfer over on television nearly as as well as it is in person. It's it's like it's not even the same. Is there like a reason close. for that? You think? Well, they've tried to experiment with different camera angles and stuff, and I just it just doesn't work. You got to keep the original kind of pan at a certain level, and you like in the NFL, you guys have those zip lines above, so it's almost like you're in the huddle, and then it zips out, and then you're seeing it's crazy the technology and how they're able to do it. Hockey, they just they they haven't found a way. They've spent money. They've they've had universities do trials, and it it's too it's because of the speed of the game and the constant movement. It's too much for the viewer. It almost like confuses them to the point where they're like, I got a fucking headache watching this. Like even um, with they started doing the behind the net cam on the power play, and they would go and they would kind of just rotate it. And even people complained about that. I didn't mind that angle, but uh, it just uh, it's. I mean, hockey's going to keep doing growing and, and being better in the States. I just think that it doesn't transfer over quite the bite that the NFL has. Has the, the, NFL, has the NHL ever experimented with like a like a sky cam? So this is where they I'm, have it like trail behind and then have maybe like two cameras on both sides so they can follow they, the puck from there top? There is something like that now where a camera rips along the, the above the glass. Mm. And I think I think it's 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 pretty good actually. But the biggest thing would be NFL is so like that the hits and how fast these guys are, it's incredible. And the cameras right down on the field, you see the replays. The, the, they got the full speed, speed replays where you, you hear the crashes. Hockey, because of the boards on TV, you don't see how fast they're going. Mm -hmm. But that's why if people go sit front row, like my, my father-in-law got tickets now behind the Bruins net, and he's like, I cannot believe the speed and the size of these guys. Yeah, but right. on TV, it doesn't show. So that's why in person, I, I mean, I think the boards aspect is the biggest thing. You can't get right there like those cameras on the field. In the yeah, NFL. right. No, but but, it's, but hockey's in a great spot. But I was going to say about football, I, I saw today, I think Dante at Barstow did a blog about the product being bad, but how the numbers are, they're, they're skyrocketing still. The NFL and the it viewership is, and the crazy, money. It's crazy, man. It's, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's become like a show. It's become like the TV is like an event. Hockey is just right. pure when you watch 82 it. 82 games. Hockey, but hockey on games, like, you don't really get a full understanding of how fast everyone's going. No. You just kind of see, like you said, the lens where it goes back and forth. Football, I feel like when you watch it on TV, it looks so much faster than when you view it in person. I was at the Titans game this past weekend, and I was sitting up in this suite looking down, and it was like, everyone's trying to just, it didn't seem like crazy fast to me. Right. Well, yeah, and if you're sitting up high in an NHL arena, mm. it's definitely similar to that where you can't tell, like, the physicality and the speed, but you're still seeing plays develop that you can't on TV watching hockey, mm. and it's just in person the best the best sport for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, yeah, I I, I like. I I actually prefer watching it like as a former player. I like watching it from up top because I like seeing it all develop. Like I don't need to be on the glass from like a viewership perspective. I kind of like being up top. No, I love it. And will would you say? If you sat up high in an NFL stadium where the coordinators are, would you see plays develop? Would you realize right away when a guy missed an assignment or like do you know you know what I mean? Uh, Knowing the game, is it like hockey where you can see all how a breakaway happens? Yeah, but ahead you of time? we're still pretty good. Like even if you're on the front row, I still feel like you're a good distance away where you're kind of seeing the entire formation. Okay, so I don't think like uh not like not a whole lot. I guess see, you I, just get uh, a better uh, vantage point. Well, on the I back disagree end. with that. When we went and did the spring game at ASU, it was so hard for me to tell who was who and what was going on. I couldn't see the far side of the field, but when I was up there at that game this weekend, 
you see the formations, you see where protection breaks down. That's fair. You see I mean, like that people point, hitting gaps and stuff like that. Like, oh, you could see like, oh, the running back missed a gap there. Right. Or this right, guy, right. he was You see it happen in real and like right before it happens almost. Yeah. Like up top, you see in hockey at least, you see a puck get rimmed around, you see two guys take off, and you're like, dude, if this puck gets by this defense and it's pinching, these guys are gone. Cause you've already um, seen them from up top go. Do you know what I'm saying, kinda? You so see it it's develop like what crazy. you're saying to me is interesting, but like being a casual fan of you don't hockey, get it. the development of plays to me it looks like just five guys holding a zone the entire yeah, time I have absolutely zero and you're like you're kind of just watching guys kind of work yeah, together the strategy you really involved. see it in power play like power when play, you, yeah, with the it, four right. how they kind of rotate like i think that's fascinating yeah. but when it's five on five to me it just seems like it's yeah they're duking forth. out the two defensemen are just kind of chilling back there kind of hey don't let it get past the blue line and that's really it but you um, guys actually do you guys actually have plays like coaches yelling hey run twister um there's face off plays but there's like when you're on the ice, you're just like talking to your line mates and you're talking on the bench, like go here next time. And you're all like, it's like knowing what you're going to do before you do it. There's not like plays I think live you, in I action. think you kind of like right. there's systems in a sense of like how you play in structure and how you pressure teams in the neutral zone. I would say it's evolved to where it's it's like it's very it's a lot more in depth now than it was like 15 years ago, just because of the amount of video, the amount of coaches like. Talk talks about like their neutral vo- neutral zone four check and little things like that, like um, a power play zone entry where you might have a couple different options of how you like like um, you go up ice, get control. Yeah, mm-hmm. so there, yeah, there, there's n- not as much as you think because it's such a reactionary sport. But in controlled settings, like for instance, a controlled breakout, like you said, off of a face off. So there's certain situations of the game you can control, and you gotta like practice practice those in training camp like you would run plays like what, in, in what's NFL. a control breakout mean because i'm thinking to myself like so so you're, you're standing your defenseman's behind the net and the center swings down and he either picks up the puck or he goes the other team has kind of sat back once you get control behind the net they're just going to be like all right we have a set four check right we know how to combat so, what they're doing yeah mm-hmm. so if like the center swings the the defensive side of the coach like on the defensive team he'll say swing with that centerman some of them might say like all of you five guys stand in the neutral zone and just kind of let them have it up there and then try to come up the ice so it's yeah it's constantly evolving and then like game to game you're getting a a video breakdown of their power play their penalty kill and these types of situations what they might do off -off, face off face-off plays their control breakout their zone entry on a power play so you kind of get that five to eight minutes of video in the morning of, of the day of a game. But the thing that's hard about hockey is you're playing, you know, 31 other teams. So right. you have with, with you, different systems. So you have to have a team who kind of is easily able to adapt, like has hockey smarts and saying, okay, today we're not doing the same four check we were last night on the control breakout. Cause maybe that centerman who swung for the offensive team went behind the net, grabbed the puck and it's fucking caprice off where he can actually go end to end by himself. Mm-hmm. So it is just, like it, coaching is so fucking important nowadays just because of how good the league's gotten and all these minute details that you have to teach your players and then keep them reminded of as it goes. In football, do you, based team to team, change your defense? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Depending on the system that the offense is running or defense so is there, running. So would there be a game, obviously it's different for offensive linemen, but as a defensive player, would there be a game you're playing a certain defense where you're not like in because it's that defense? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah, you don't yeah. play that one. Right. So you have like bigger personnel and lighter personnel to okay. where if like you're in 21 personnel, which is two running backs and one tight end or 12 personnel or 13 personnel, like those are bigger body personnel to where they're running at least double tight end. So you would play more of a base package too that have bigger bodies in there, three, four linebackers. There's a lot of teams now just playing with two linebackers. But then when it gets lighter in the box, so you see with the Chiefs, when they spread it out, there are three wide, so 13 personnel, 11, or, or my fault, not 13, 11 personnel, 10 personnel. When they're breaking out with a lot more receivers, you need more. then you need more speed you on the field. You need more speed on the field, yeah. So you swap out a backer with a nickel, you swap out a backer with a dime. It's like uh, chess, so, it's live yeah, chess. Yeah, 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 like that's why I view football as like, there's always a break, and that's like, all right, yeah, chess, someone like won that. a battle here. Now, what are we going to put on the field to best combat each right, other? Right, right. And everything's yeah. situational. So, yeah. like, any given week, you're starting off and you're breaking down the running game, like first and 10, their play action off the run game, their first and 10 or second and 10 passes. Then as you get later in the week, you're breaking down third down and not just third down, but third down from what do they do from at third and one? Does this team combine one to three? Will they call any play? 
Will they just have uh, a couple go to plays in third and one? Mm -hmm. So it's third and one, third and two to three, third and four to seven, and third and uh, eight plus. Yeah, like so for how, they're all how, different how, situations. How much wow. time are you consuming a video setting up for that next week? Way more a than lot. you are on the field. Like hours and hours. Like you're, if uh, on Wednesday, if you go in the building, your first meeting's at 7 a.m., you're watching film. And either with your offense as a full team, or in your indiv like your individual groups, the old like line or linebackers, and then you go to practice. And then how you long come would you watch video at seven a.m. till eleven? So 11 dude, how do you right, keep guys from not falling asleep? No, no, like oh yeah, you you deal with that all the time. But that's like that's that's rookie shit. Like you, that's that's unprofessional. Yeah, the first time you you kind of start to doze off. Hey, stand up if you're having a problem. Have a coffee or whatever. That it's like that's the grind of the season. It's not necessarily the practices or the games. Like that does wear on you eventually. But like it's the constant every day and the redundancy of like Wednesday is the first install. So you're doing uh, your base packages, the meat and potatoes of what we're do, gonna do in this game, and then the next day you focus more on third down and, and everything. In like red that. zone. And yeah, red red zone. And then Friday you go through like your two minute calls, which is usually numbered one through ten. And one will tell you everything. Odd numbers are usually sliding to the right. Even numbers are sliding to the left. You gotta memorize. Them. Oh my god, yeah. way more than hockey. Holy if you, fuck! If you go into hundreds, take Adderall? <laughs> no, it's but it's dude, it's so easy because there's probably twenty real football plays, twenty football plays in football, and I'm I, I could be totally off with the number, but there are like. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I the, don't know. I no, just no, think no, it's I'm funny saying, to hear. From, yeah, there's <laughs> probably. Be, yeah. Yeah. I'm probably, probably no, 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 twenty yeah. total. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying like if you looked at like all. But there's your, all these different variations you, yeah, of those yeah, twenty yeah, plays. Base runs and base pass concepts. There's uh, there's only a finite amount, so let's just say it's twenty. But on top of that, there's like 50 different wrinkles to each play, how you're yeah. going to motion, where guys line up. And then you're all obviously playing the other side too. How do they play offense? Are they penetrators or are they two gappers? So now you're thinking how you're going to your combination blocks differently. These corners play press. Like we were talking earlier with blitzes, like you're like, Oh, if you're, if you're a left tackle and you see a guy coming off the edge, what do you do? And it's like, well, is it my assignment to get that guy? Or is it my assignment to take this guy I have on me? And if it is, I usually would take the team, like all the stuff when like we're as a team together, they would kind of give me their tendencies and game plans as a whole. And then on my own time, when I get home, I would evaluate the individual player that most of my, most of my matchup is at. Right. Watching, Which I'm sure like you, if you're playing tape. the Saints and you're like, God forbid, it's second down, I have to go out with Alvin Kamara. Right, you're right, You're watching right, right, right. every option route Alvin yeah, Kamara Yeah, from your guys' standpoint, you're, you're, you're realizing like, all right, do they play more of a two-shell defense or are they a big uh, heavy cover three defense this week? What do they do when you got them in a situation and, and we motion them out to empty? How do they adjust an empty? Does the oh linebacker, like I prefer, check rat to stay in the box? I don't box. even get what, what you're saying right <laughs> does now. The line, right. Yeah, does the linebacker stay in the Chinese box? Chinese podcast? Yeah. 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 But like you they, guys, when, you guys are saying, the, when you guys are saying center's coming, so four check, the settings. Same you guys stay in the gray zone and they come on up or whatever. The gray but, zone. The gray so how many, <laughs> is that what how, it is? How, how many of your listeners <laughs> like, I'm calling it the gray zone forever now. Forever. What is it? What is The neutral zone. How many it's a, it's of your a gray, listeners, it's a neutral color. Yeah, how many yeah, of your no gray, listeners, no gray area turnovers, right? That's how many of your listeners yes. like appreciate you guys getting the weeds on the football talk, or do you think not a lot of them understand it? Like, that's how many, a, that's I'm not sure. Asked that same question. Oh, I asked the sure. same thing when two hours ago. No yeah. shit. Literally yeah. when we were literally all trying to answer. Hey, great minds, buddy. Great minds, love you, buddy. Hey, you were legit there when Wit asked. Yeah, yeah. I was about to explain it. Sometimes we start getting in the weeds and like we'll get I wondered if hockey people like Yeah, they're like, we don't give a fuck. Tell us a kill story. Tell us a kill story. I'm sure people in the comments will leave if they appreciate the football talk. I wondered the same thing. We kind of got in the weeds a little bit even in the intro.